All right, bookworms, listen up. Writers, artists, and cultural workers will gather this weekend for the eighth annual Small Press Book Fair, and that's why we're talking about how to turn the page today on Winging It Buffalo Style. All right, joining us on the couch right now are Christopher Fritton as well as Caitlin Cass. You guys are both part of the Small Press Book Fair, which has been attracting people, uh, small uh, press publishing houses to the Western community for eight years now. This mm -hmm. is a great event. Absolutely. It started in 2007, and I had the idea to bring together a bunch of cultural workers, authors, printmakers, and get them in the same venue so they could share what they were doing. The idea is to kind of cross-pollinate. So if you're a printmaker and you meet up with an author, you might be able to collaborate on a book together. And also to kind of work around uh, the larger publishing houses, these places that make hundreds of thousands of books, and you might just make your books in an edition of 100 or 200. And so how many vendors will be coming to the event this uh, year? This year we have 140 over the course of two days, so it takes place on Saturday and Sunday. Um, we actually had to make the fair two-day event because it had gotten so large. And the first year ever we only had 65 and maybe a couple hundred people through the door. This year we're hoping to have close to 5,000 people over two days. And Caitlin, you're one of the vendors. You do historical <laughs> comics. Explain a little bit about your work. Um, I make comics about history. Uh, I do a monthly comic that I sent to subscribers, and I'll be selling most of those while I'm at the fair. Um, this is my fifth year at the fair. And for so. people like you who have small independent publishing businesses, why are fairs like this a big, uh, big opportunity for your business? Well, you get to meet um, the people who buy your work in person, which is awesome. Um, you can network with other artists and, and comic makers and bookmakers and in particular I like this fair because there's a huge diversity of different types of people making work. There's bookstores also, there's small presses, there's literary stuff, poetry and comics. And Chris, when and where is the event happening? It's happening at the Carpalis Manuscript Museum um, on April 5th from 12 to 6 and then it's happening on April 6th uh, from 11 to 5. So we're talking about all these people coming into town for this. It's an attraction for this industry. It's a, right. This is a big accomplishment for us here in Western New York. Yeah, it's actually grown uh, just from a regional event where people came from around the Great Lakes area to something that's totally national. We have people from Montreal, Baltimore, Miami. They're coming all the way in from uh, places like New York and Boston. And I think that uh, this year it'll probably be about 60% outside the region. What are some of the other challenges for people who have small publishing businesses in today's publishing world? I think that uh, one of the most difficult things is distribution. And that was the idea when I set this up, was being able to put these people in a venue where they'd be able to peddle their wares and actually share them with people. It can be difficult to get your work out there. And like I said, even if you make 200 books, uh, you may end up at home with 150 of them you know, in a box. So if I bring everyone together, they get a chance to kind of get it out there in the world. All right, again, this is happening this Saturday and Sunday. You guys, you brought some great props for us, so let's show those before Absolutely. we all had to break here. <laughs> so, we have just a couple small books. Some of these are small press poetry books that I brought along. Caitlin's brought along some for comics. And, and even though it's called the Small Press Book Fair, it doesn't mean all of the books are physically small, right? Absolutely. You just happen so, to bring small books for exactly. us. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fair <laughs> there. Fact checking. Uh, again, Caitlin will have a booth at the fair, and it's happening this Saturday and Sunday. And the location, one more time, is the Carpalis Manuscript Museum Porter Hall, which is uh, right by Klein Hands. All right, right by Kleinhands. Thank you guys so much, and good luck with the event this weekend. Thank, Thank you very you. much. All right.